Day five of the tour, which is Wednesday the 2nd of February, sees us leave the stunning Koh Samui and do a 360 kilometre ride from Samui, hugging the coast and then cross country over to Anang or Krabi on the western coast of Thailand. This is another exceptional ride, simply stunning. We stopped at a cool cafe, by the way, called Ace Cafe, so make sure you check that out. The coastline just continues to amaze us. Just fantastic riding. So we're going to be first off the boat, uh, off the ferry, the vehicular ferry, back on the mainland. So we're Suratani. Olivia is getting a bit keen to go. Off the ferry on our way. Very nice couple of days on the island. Beautiful place. Upmarket. Many thanks to our mate Rutka for putting us up and showing us around. It's sensational mate, sensational. Left the ferry, we're following this tiny little coast road around the peninsula here. Tonight will be in Al Nung, but Rutka said it's a great little road following the coast around here. And look at the ocean and the islands out to the left there, just gorgeous. What'd they say? Gorgeous. Beautiful anyway. Nice little road. This twisty little road, we're just following the ocean line. Beautiful yellow flowers on the left and the beautiful green turquoise ocean on the right. What's the name of this beach? Um, the town is called Kanom. Kanom. So, yeah, Kanom Beach. I don't, must have a Thai name also. But I will explain. Actually, yes, the big mountains you see all the way back, that is Samui. Uh, the island Korab that we visited is that island over there. And there's a marine park with other islands in between. So this is the mouth of the river of, uh, that goes to Kanom and uh, we will ride back and then we will cross the town of Kanom which is uh, a fisherman town. So you will see all of those boats, they have like a, a harbour there, it's very cute. There's a little bridge that we will drive over. And this is the electricity power plant that gives power to Koh Samui. So the electricity cables go from here to Koh Samui. Yeah, just following the coastline around. Very interesting little road, this one. Up, down, round about. There's a coast out there on the left. It's like a roller coaster, this road. Coast road is just beautiful. And we've stopped at this coffee shop, but unfortunately it's not bloody open. But just have a look at the view from up here. Goodness me, gorgeous. I must say, I don't feel the most stable I've been. Stop for an early lunch in Sichon. On our way to Anong. Pretty cool little cafe here called Ace Cafe. Uh, Sichon, owned by a Swiss guy. Pretty cool little spot if you want to stop for bikers. Cup and cup.
Day six of the tour, Thursday the 3rd of February, sees us leave Al Nung and do a 200k ride down to Phuket. On the way down, we stop at Samet Nung Shay Lookout, which I've got to say is one of the most outstanding lookouts I've ever seen. Uh, you look right out to the islands off the coast of Phuket. About 30 kilometres outside of Patong, uh, we had a horrible accident where our own Froglodite Olivier um, had a nasty prang with a scooter. He's currently in Bangkok Phuket Hospital, has been there for you know, a week and a half now with a broken shoulder, elbow and knee. He's had surgery to fix and hopefully in the next week or so he'll be able to hop in a wheelchair and return back here to Patio. I asked Olivier if he minded me including the actual accident video because it came from a police camera and uh, he said he would like it included because it just shows how a bit of inattention on both parties' sake can end up as a uh, seri serious accident. So normally I'd say happy days but this one not so much. Just leaving Ao Nang now, beautiful little spot. Beautiful little spot. Had a very big night last night. A night that I needed to sleep and I get hammered. Very scenic indeed through here. This is gorgeous. having a bit of sport with us, making checking all our paperwork, generally ginning us about. Don't know why he's having fun with us. Not fun on our behalf, they're just having some sport. Picking on Rutger, wrong guy to pick on. We're heading to a lookout about a, about a hundred k's out of Phuket, the Tong. Apparently the views from up here are supposed to be spectacular. And I've got to tell you, the road in is also spectacular. Nice windy, twisty little road. Yeehaw. So we're up at the lookout at Samet Nung Si. Great, brilliant motorcycle road in here, but look at the view. These are sort of all the islands, sort of off Phuket, oh. north north of Phuket. Impressive. One of them out there is James Bond Island, Impressive. I don't know which one it is. Not a bad view, eh? This is the accident. Uh, we're turning right. We have a green forward arrow and there is no green arrow to the right but there is no red arrow to the right either. Therefore, cross at your own risk. Three of us go through. Olivier then follows a scooter coming the other way, absolutely flying, probably trying to miss the red light, uh, smashes into the side of him, both at fault. Uh, 
nasty one. This is a bit unfortunate. Um, we're on the side of the road here. Our uh, dark side rider brother, Olivier, has just had a bit of a nasty one with a uh, Thai scooter. We're not sure who's in the wrong, to be frank, but it doesn't matter. Everyone's hurt. I've just taken Olivier off to the hospital. He's got a banged up knee and a banged up shoulder. We'll see what the damage is later. Uh, the bike, as usual, nothing out of the ordinary. has been impounded by the police. The police were very nice and respectful, actually. Um, so we're waiting here at this little side store. We're going to have a drink. And we'll wait for the boys to come back. They're taking the, up the bike up to the police station. So uh, we'll see how we go. Nasty. So another big night we had on our southern tour. We're recovering, having a coffee here. Good night. Bloody Phuket is seriously busy. We're at the Tong Beach. We're saying, oh, there's the Tong Beach there. It's getting busy already. Um, that's beach. We're only going to have a relaxing day today. This beach is nothing compared to some of the places we've been on this trip. But hey, if that's the worst we can do, life is good. Happy. That's the end of days five through seven. We'll be leaving Phuket on the next video. Hey people, remember what I always say, life can be ever so short, therefore live life today. Stay tuned.